Welcome back. Let's turn to Omar Cotter's Toronto connection now. We know that his family has been living here for a number of years. Sun News Network Cindy Palm has been getting reaction and joins us now. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Brian. Cindy, uh, you were, were they willing to speak with you and you went out there to try and catch up with them today? That's right. We just came back from Scarborough, Ontario, in the east end of the city. We went to 3 Khartoum Avenue, the house where Omar Cotter's family lives. It's a bungalow. Uh, which you can see right here. And I did try to get reaction from anyone who would answer at the door and ask them, what is your reaction to Omar Cutter landing back in Canada? And here is how the encounter went. But we do see lights inside the house. Someone's at the door now. As you just heard there, the male who well, I was going to say answered at the door, but didn't refuse to come outside, said not interested, go away. I did see some other people in the house as well, including women. Now, we were there for about an hour, and just a few minutes after that conversation, we, we stayed around, and that's when things got a little more heated and a little more agitated. Take a look at this. The perverts, I've asked you not to step on the property. Last time. So a family member there calling the media a pervert, if you didn't hear that off the top. Now, I did also, Brian, speak with some of the neighbors, including those who had lived there for decades, and say, as some of them tell me, that it's actually Omar Cotter's grandparents who live there, as well as another male relative, though they're not sure of the relationship. And uh, every single person I spoke with, which was uh, roughly about a dozen or so people, they knew right away that, yes, Omar Cotter's family does indeed live here and this is their impression of them take a listen just a hi hello just like i would speak to you across the street that's the sort of thing and what is your impression of them good people like any other people i guess so they're pretty quiet they don't they keep to themselves they don't do much if you see them passing down the street would you say hello and goodbye that kind of relationship Actually, there's a yeah there's a nephew i think he is and he says hi but i always notice that the women always are covered up and they seem friendly or We're just trying to learn. I know. <laughs> so that last person there, not willing to answer that question of whether or not the family uh, is friendly or not. Uh, now, Brian, at this point, we're not really sure where his mother lives. She had been living in Scarborough in a high-rise building, uh, but we're not sure whether or not she lives there, and this was in the same area as well. But a neighbor is saying, as you saw there that uh, they did know they do know Omar Cotter's family and they see them all of the time um, but they're quiet for the most part is what many of them are telling me today. Brian? All right thanks for this Cindy. You're welcome. That's Cindy Palm in our Toronto newsroom. We're going to take a quick break here now. We'll have more on our lead story. Omar Cotter is back in Canada after this. Stay with us.